Official images from the Apollo 17 archives clearly show deliberate photo manipulation by the NASA administration. These two images, snapped by the Apollo 17 crew at the Taurus Litro Valley, clearly show the same background in both images. If we pay close attention to the backdrop of this image and highlight the relevant features, we will clearly see that this scene is staged, possibly using a technique called front projection. Please note these points of interest highlighted here. A large hill or mountain, here, the lunar lander, here, and this small pothole, here. If we fade in the second image, taken from the same mission, we can clearly see that the entire scene has been deliberately faked. As you can see, the background of the image remains the same, but now the astronaut has been replaced with the lunar lander. This of course is impossible, as the lunar lander was not designed to take off and land somewhere else. So it's quite clear that the lander was moved from its original position, here, to here, by a crane. It's also possible, that the lunar lander in these images, is in fact a detailed model, similar to the ones on display, at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. This second set of two images, also from the Apollo 17 mission, clearly shows the same process of front projection. We can clearly see the edge of the stage highlighted in black, here. Again, if we note the projected hill in the background, and these large rocks in the foreground, we can see that the scene has been completely fabricated. Once we fade in the second image from the same mission, we can clearly see that the rocks have now been replaced by a lunar lander and a rover. Again, this is not possible. This scene has obviously been photographed on a set, probably in a secret studio, here on Earth. It's interesting to note, that the technique of front projection, was pioneered by the late film director Stanley Kubrick. In this final image, taken from Apollo 16, we can clearly see a double exposure. But according to NASA, this picture occurred when sunlight struck the film, while the astronauts were changing the magazine. However, the bottom portion of the picture is a moonscape with a mountain, while the upper part of the picture is clearly a white wall with an open door. A picture can only be formed by a conventional light image passing through a lens aperture. The sun striking the film magazine as NASA claims cannot create a defined picture, especially a wall with an open door. It would appear that there is a fifth column working within the NASA administration. Patriotic men and women who are slowly leaking images like this into the public domain, so that the truth can be exposed.